The Alaska Marine Highway System operates along the south central coast of the state. The eastern Aleutian Islands and the inside passage of Alaska and British Columbia, Canada, very served communities in southeast Alaska that have no roads and the vessels can transport people, freight and vehicles. The Alaska Marine Highways 3,500 miles of routes go so far south as Bellingham, Washington. In the contiguous United States and as far west as Unalaska Dutch Harbour with a total of 32 terminals throughout Alaska, British Columbia and Washington. It is part of the National Highway System and receives federal highway funding. It is also a form of transportation of vehicles between the state and contiguous United States going through Canada but not requiring international customs and immigration. The Alaska Marine Highway System is a rare example in the US of a shipping line offering regularly scheduled service for the primary purpose of transportation of passengers rather than of leisure or entertainment. Voyages can last many days and in contrast to the luxury of a typical cruise line, cabins cost extra and food is served cafeteria style. The ferry service is very popular in the summer months. Tent cities commonly sprout up on the aft of the main vessels for budget travellers. The Atlantic Marine Highway System is one of the top modes of transportation to the last frontier, Alaska. Vessels usually undergo overhauls and renovations once the service drops significantly in the winter and vessels usually overgo undergo overhauls and renovations during this period due to the decline in passenger and vehicle traffic. One such vessel seen here, the MV Leconte, named after the Le Leconte Glacier, located in southeast Alaska near Petersburg, is seen here at Kachikan, about to enter a period in dry dock at the shipyard here. The vessel was built in 1974. The small size of this vessel enables it to provide a service to the smaller communities along the Alaska Marine Highways route with a gross tonnage of 1,328 tonnes designed to carry 225 passengers and 33 20-foot vehicles. One of the Alaska Marine Highway System's largest vessels is the MV Columbia, named after the Columbia Glacier, a glacier in Prince William Sound. The vessel was built at Lockheed Shipbuilding and Construction Company in 1973 and entered service in 1974. It held the distinction of being, a being the largest ferry to be built in Phuket Sound at a cost of 20 million US dollars. The vessel is 418 feet long, 85 feet wide and has a domestic gross tonnage of 3,946, designed to carry 499 passengers and has a vehicle capacity which is equal to approximately 133 20 foot vehicles. There are 45 four berth cabins and 56 two berth cabins on board. The vessel is only one of two to have a dining room. Other amenities 
include observation lounges, a covered heating solarium, a cafeteria style restaurant, a movie lounge, showers, coin operated laundry and lockers. In July 2011, the Marine Highway began the bidding process to build the first of what they refer to as Alaska class vessels, made to travel on the shorter routes. They would not have staterooms available for passengers. The first of these vessels, the MV Taslina, was built at Kachikan shipyard and entered service in May 2019 named after the Taslinia Glacier located 43 miles north of Valdez. The ship operates as a day boat in the North Lynn Canal between the communities of Juniel, Haynes and Skagway. The vessel has a length of 280 feet long, seats 300 passengers and carries 53 standard vehicles. Onboard amenities include observation lounges with comfortable chairs, a covered heated solarium, a cafeteria style restaurant, children's play area, and a quiet room. Sister ship to the Taslinia is the MV Hubbard, seen here alongside the shipyard where the vessel was built at Kachikan, pictured in September 2019 before entering service. The MV Malaspina is named after the Malaspina Glacier, seen here on passage south from Ork Bay, Junio. The vessel is one of three sister ships that made up the original 
Atlantic Marine Highway System Fleet in 1963. After nine years in operation, the ship underwent lengthening and renovation in Portland, Oregon. Today, the vessel is 408 feet long and 74 feet wide, with a domestic gross tonnage of 2,928 and a service speed of 16.5 knots. The vessel can carry 450 passengers and it has a vehicle capacity, capacity which is equal to approximately 83 20 foot vehicles. The vessel has 45 full berth cabins and 26 two berth cabins. One of the oldest vessels still in service in the fleet today and may possibly be replaced by a new ferry in the not too distant future.